Hi, is, uh, is Peter Griffin here? Oh, my God. Is everything okay? Yes, it's just... You look just like... What's going on? Who's this supermodel? I'm Katie. I'm your daughter. Your what? Holy crap! Yeah, I hope you don't mind the drop-in, but the, uh, the sperm bank said it was okay to contact you. Ah, I guess... I guess I just didn't expect this so soon. Well, we were all pretty excited to meet you. What do you mean, we? Hi, Dad! We're all your children. We came from your semen. Semen. <laughs> semen. Ha-ha! <laughs> oh, sorry. Wrong house. Look, Eddie's at the wrong house. Ha-ha! 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 Peter, how many times were you a sperm donor? Well, only once, but I had just seen Uma Thurman in Beautiful Girls, so it was kind of a kablamo. You ever seen those videos where they put Mentos in Diet Coke? Uh, listen, I want all of you to know how happy we are to meet you. In fact, this calls for a celebration. Uh, can you all stay for dinner? Aw, oh, we'd love that. Wouldn't we, guys? Yeah, absolutely. You said it, babe. Yeah, Chinese Peter, very hungry. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down there, Lois. Just because they're my kids and they all look like me doesn't mean we have anything in common. <laughs> I've never felt proud of any of my children until now. This is so exciting. For years, I have dreamed of one day traveling from Bavaria to play the accordion for my birth family. May I? <laughs> I have just one question for you. What are those? Oh, I get that, because this comedy has just made it to Germany. Wow, you look exactly like me. Yes, I'm not actually part of sperm donation thing. I'm your secret clone. We have been orphaned blacked, and you soon will be dead. <laughs> Meg, where are you? I'm right here, Mom. Well, look at your fine ass. Are you talking to me? Damn right. I've been looking around this whole house for something to nibble on. I think I just found it. So many confusing feelings. Dead. Sex. Black woman. Historically low mortgage rates. Ah, I gotta go buy a house. Lois, Lois, can I keep the little person, Peter? No, they're too much work. But I'll take care of it, I promise. You always say that, and I'm the one who ends up feeding them and walking them and doing all the cleanup. Excuse me, I'm a candidate for a doctorate in classics at Wesleyan. It talks! Lois, it talks! That big one doesn't blink a lot, does he? Hey, Lois, where's your purse? Me and some of my kids are going to the movies. By the way, Dwarf Peter died. I didn't know what he ate, so I gave him nothing. His name was Tyler. He had a name. Everything you say, you say with pride. I like that about you. Anyway, where's Larry? Maybe he wants to go to the movie. Larry? Why would I know where Larry is at? Who is Larry? Well, never mind. All right, everybody bring your phone so we can text each other during the movie. Peter, turns out your initial instinct was right. You never should have let any of your children contact you. You said it. From now on, I'm making sure my sperm stays right where it belongs, in the bathroom sink. We have fun down here. <laughs> <laughs>